The Minecraft RTX beta is launching today, 16th of April. It should be available at 10 a.m. PST, and which is about 6 p.m. British summer time. If you're interested in getting on board with it, the first thing you'll need is a card that's capable of ray tracing. At this point, I'm not sure how feasible a non-RTX card would be, but I'll show you some figures on some of the high-end cards with ray tracing cores, and then you can decide whether or not it's worth it. Following that, you need to make sure you've got a copy of Windows 10 Minecraft, which is about £20 on the Microsoft Store. You'll also need the Microsoft Insider Hub in order to access the beta content. I'm going to assume you aren't already in the beta, so you can just follow these steps. First thing you need to do is to install the Xbox Insider Hub. To do that, you can just search in the search bar for Insider Hub and then install the app. When it's open, click on this small box icon on the top left. This will show you all the available Insider content for any Microsoft products that you have. Click on the Minecraft for Windows 10. Now I'm already in a beta so I need to manage mine. If you're not, you can click to join the beta and then you'll get three options once it's available. Minecraft Windows 10, this is the normal beta that I'm in. Mine, uh, Minecraft RTX will appear when it's available and then unenroll to leave those previews. So you'll choose the Minecraft, for, uh, Minecraft RTX and then click done. Then when you open Minecraft, you need to check your version history at the bottom, which this is not the correct one. The correct build will be v1.15.0.8. That will tell you that you're on the Minecraft RTX beta build. You might want to make sure as well that your NVIDIA drivers are up to date. There was an update released yesterday, so on the 15th, which you'll want to make sure you've downloaded so that everything's working as optimally as it can do. One word of warning though is that the worlds you open when you're on the RTX beta they'd not be able to be opened on any other Minecraft betas or any non-beta version of it. I'm going to just personally use the six preset ones it comes with, so that won't be an issue for me until the beta's over. Um, however, if you want to make a copy of a world, you can do. I've put the, the directory where you'll be able to find that on your PC unless you've already tweaked those. So they do recommend that you make a copy of any worlds that you do want to play in the RTX beta and use that copy instead. Finally, um, these show you some of the performance hits you'd be expected to take, and to be honest, they're all playable, especially using the DLSS 2.0. Now, I haven't actually seen that one in action, but apparently it's supposed to actually improve the image. In a lot of screenshots, it does look significantly better. However, I'll wait until I can see that in motion, but I think that's realistically your only option in order to play the game at playable frame rates, even on a 280 Ti. Other than that, everything should be ready to play as soon as it's available to unlock, so have fun.